I chose UT Austin because it allowed me to do a lot of different things at once. Uh, it's a very good research university, academic university, uh, but at the same time I wanted a school that was really focusing on fine arts. Um, I looked at a lot of different conservatories, um, acting schools, things like that, but at the same time I'm a very academic person. Um, I'm majoring in Plan 2, American Studies and Theater and Dance here. Um, and this is one of the few universities that allowed me to do all three. Uh, so a lot of my classes cross list and things like that, but at the same time I get this really great arts environment. Austin's also a great town for theater, um, any type of art, music, things like that. Um, so it's kind of an all-encompassing environment and it allows me to do a lot of different things at once, whereas at another school I'd maybe have just one track. In the Fine Arts College I've received a lot of opportunities. Um, it's a very uh, interdisciplinary field, you have to seek out the professors. Um, at the same time we have a lot of uh, contact within the Austin area. I've reached out and done a lot of things in town with different theaters um, and that kind of gives you some sort of experience with that. I'm also in the Liberal Arts College and they have amazing resources as well. Um, scholarships, great opportunity within Liberal Arts. Uh, we do have, uh, especially within Plan 2, uh, which is one of my majors, we definitely provide free printing for students which I love thank you so much and uh, a lot of scholarships I've been afforded a lot of opportunities here um, within performing arts within liberal arts uh, because I pay for everything myself so um, they've given me a whole lot of scholarships to deal with and I'm very very thankful for that to make a smooth transition uh, from high school to college at UT I'd probably say um, Go to your office hours go talk to your professors it's a really hard environment to adjust to and a lot of students think that everyone just does it you know seamlessly and it's really not that easy everyone has trouble adjusting from a 40-hour week in high school to a 15-hour week in college there's all this extra time and um, you'll learn that as you go on you need to go talk to your professors the writing standard is a lot higher so go to the writing center definitely um, you're just kind of expected to know that stuff but um, ask the professors for help they want to get to know you and those are the best ways to get recommendation letters and get to know your professors we have Pulitzer Prize winning teachers who teach here and you need to get to know them because if you have a recommendation letter from them, you're probably set. So talk to your professors. For those considering UT Austin, I um, would say weigh out a lot of different options. Come visit the campus first of all. Uh, you don't know what it's going to be like until you come visit us. The weather is great. Uh, that's one of the main reasons that I chose UT is because I wouldn't have to deal with freezing cold temperatures. Um, definitely visit the campus, uh, but definitely weigh out your options. This isn't the, I mean, the school is very, very large. If you want to go to a very small university and receive, you know, very private attention. Um, you do receive private attention here at UT, um, but it's, it's a very different environment. We are very loving, we're an athletic university, uh, we have this group mentality. At the same time, you get a lot of attention from your professors. So just probably the best advice I would give students coming is visit the campus. You won't know what it's like until you come down and see us. Uh, I give tours for the university and we see some weird things happen on this campus. Keep Austin weird is our motto here. Um, we have a parkour, like a free running team, and they run up on flips and do trees and they've been practicing all the time on my tours. And that's a weird sell, but it's a a cell that a lot of students have when they come here. They really like the tolerant environment. Um, any type of, uh, they're selling cookies on the West Mall and things like that. You don't see that at a lot of other universities. So it's, it, it's something they don't really get to experience until they come here. Hook em horns.